بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everybody and welcome to this session about healthy lifestyles. What do you mean by healthy lifestyles? Healthy means strong, fit or good lifestyles. This is so First of all, we would like to start by the title of the lesson. We have two words. First, the word healthy means strong or without any disease or capable. And we have lifestyles means the way you live. My first question for you, first question for all of you. What words are associated with the word healthy? If you are healthy, means you are strong, well-built, or you don't have any disease. Now, what, which words are associated with the word lifestyles? Lifestyles means the way you live, the way you dress up, the way you cut your hair, the way you eat, the way you drink, and so on. Let me give you an example. For example, do you think do you think that drinking or smoking is a good or bad habit? Hassan, do you think that smoking is a good or bad habit? It's a bad habit. Why Hassan? Why do you think it's bad? So it leads to many diseases and they have bronch test and many other diseases. Now we have five examples we have. We are going to tell whether they are good or bad lifestyles. First one, doing sports or pra practicing sports. Smoking, gambling, visiting and seeing your parents or grandparents. And last one is drinking alcohol. Let's start with the first one. Practicing sports, is it good or bad for your health? Surely it is good. So this one. Let's put it here. So it is good, we will put correct. For smoking, smoking, is it good or bad for your health? For sure it is bad. As we said, it leads to many, many diseases. So we put X. For gambling with money, it is also a bad attitude. If you go and see your parents and grandparents, is it good or bad? Surely it is a good habit that should be encouraged. We just put through. And for drinking alcohol, you, we are Muslim, as Muslim people, it is forbidden. So it is bad. Even for people, for people who are Christian, do you think that alcohol is good or bad? Surely it is bad as it leads to death and many other diseases. And also it leads to obesity and being a fat person. Today lesson, we have three objectives. First of all, we have a list of sports you are going to classify into sports that are played inside a hall and sports that are played outside. Then, second objective, you are going to write some, the name of some sports. And third one, you are going to use the verb go, do, and play properly. First activity as a warm-up, you are going to log into the internet on the below website and do work in pairs and correct the and tick the right answers. Let's wait for 
this slow internet connection. Hussein, you are going to work with Anas. Muhammad, you are going to work with your brother. We are going to do activity number one. Look at the girl. What is she doing? She is playing golf, baseball, football, or, cyc or cycling. She is playing football. What about this man? He is playing golf. What about the girl? She is playing basketball. This man is playing tennis. This man is playing tennis. What is this lady doing? She is practicing swimming. What about this man? He's cycling. These two men are playing baseball. This one is an athlete, so he's jogging, walking slowly. This one is playing American football or soccer. This man is playing volleyball. And the last one, she is playing hooky. Okay, let's have a look at your work. Thank you, Anas. Can you do the sign for first word? It is football. Second word, it is golf. It's played on the floor. We have basketball. We have badminton. We have tennis. We have swimming. We have cycling. Then baseball, jogging or walking slowly. We have rugby when you wear a helmet and play as a group, a volleyball, and last one is a hooky. It is played by a group of six persons versus six other players. Now, we are going to, so this is the vocab of today. We have word smoking, we have gambling, drinking, doing exercise, and eating food that is healthy or good for your body. Now we have a questionnaire, some questions and answers. You are going to work individually and complete the questionnaire. If you got five plus, that means you have to change your lifestyles because you are leading really bad lifestyles. So let's have a look at the first one. It's a photo of a girl that is drinking water. So first one, we have drinking water. Second one, we have sleeping, but look at the number, seven to eight hours. Then we have some vegetables, we have lettuce, we have banana, we have apple, we have carrots, and we have milk and bread and so on. So, do you think that drinking water is good or bad for your health? So, what about doing exercise and playing sports? So, now it's time for the questionnaire. You have five minutes to work on the questionnaires and answer it. Just tick yes or no. Do you go to bed? Do you? So, I will. First, Question, do you go to bed or sleep before, after midnight? Just tick yes or no. For me, as a teacher, let's say yes. When you wake up, question number two, when you wake up in the morning, do you have headache, headache in the head? probably sometime because you slept very late. Let's put yes. Do you drink little water, only little water during the day? Me, I just drink three to four cups, so I'm going to write yes, or just put a tick. Do you play too much, two to three, four hours 
playing computer games, working on Facebook, Twitter, and other social medias? Let's say no for this one. Do you eat candies and potato, Coca-Cola, and every day? Me? I think I'm crazy about Coca-Cola and I drink it every day, so I'm going to put yes. Do you exercise or play any sports like football, volleyball, running, or whatever? Sports, sometimes. So, what do you mean by sometimes? Means more often or just sometimes? So, it's yes. When you stand up, when you stand up, do you feel a headache and do you feel dizzy as if you are going to faint? Yes, probably yes. So, in the day, do you feel tired and exhausted? Very tired? Yes, I feel exhausted. So, let's count our score. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, out of eight. We have seven out of eight for the yes. So probably you should change or modify your habits because you are living bad habits and it's not good. So this is my score as a teacher. I got more than five. Anas, you got more than four. Same, you are same like your teacher. Same like your teacher, you got five plus. Abdullah, you are the most lucky with your brother. You got only three. Now, can you give any suggestion for your friend? Suggestion for your friends or for your teacher? Just use should or should not. For example, you should drink too much water. You should eat food that is healthy. You should not drink Pepsi and so on. For you, Anas and Muhammad, you are going to work on a different activity. We have ready tips. You are just going to fill in the proper words. First one, we have some verbs exercise. We have drink. We have drink. Drink, we have eat, we have sleep, and we have brush. First one, what do you do with healthy food? We have food that is healthy. What do we do it? We drink it or eat it? We just eat it. So we are going to write eat, eat healthy food. Thank you, Anas. Your turn, Muhammad. Do what? Do what? Do exercise every day. Do exercise every day. What about your teeth after food? You just brush your teeth. So it is brush your teeth. What are the two sisters doing? They are Sleepy, so you have to sleep. And now, last one, we have some water, we just drink water. Thank you, Hussein, and uh, thank you, Anas and Muhammad. Now we are moved to, to the next activity, which is activity three. We have a word search and you have a list of sports like basketball, we have tennis, we have baseball, we have swimming, we have skiing in the ice, we have fishing, fishing, and we have football. You are going to use these words to categorize them into individual sports. You have already individual sports means only one person. Pair sports means two people or two players and team or group sports, it's a sport that is played by a group more than three people. So, 
let's first we have cycling cycling it's a solo or individual sport that is played by only one person next we have running you can run by yourself so running is an individual sports skiing skiing in the in the ice it's an individual sports and we have swimming you can swim by yourself or in a group so it is individual sports now we have pair sports that is played by two Anas what do we mean by karate no idea say any idea Abdullah okay come up say come up okay you know the meaning of karate karate this is karate then we have Jido. Any idea? Jido. And us come here. Jido. We have fencing. Come here. See it? So this is fencing. And last one, we have a table like this. Table tennis. Now we have team or group sports. We have basketball. We have football, we have volleyball, and we have rugby. Now, we are going to classify them into indoor sports that are played inside a hall. They are called indoor, inside, and we have out, that means outside, outside a hall. Some words here, some sports may, fit, may be played inside and outside at the same time. Basketball can be played either inside or outside. So you are going to write them into both of them. Basketball, we have fencing. It is played indoor, inside a room or a hall. We have swimming, can be inside an indoor swimming pool or it can be outside. We have table tennis. It's only indoor sports. We have karate, must be played inside a room. And we have judo, it's also played inside a hall. Now, outdoor sports that are played outside. Swimming, swimming can be played outside, outdoor swimming pool. Some hotels have outdoor swimming pool. We have skiing, it can be done in the mountain, mainly in cold, cold countries like Russia and many other countries. We have horse riding, it's an outdoor sport. We have cycling, cycling, it's an outdoor sport. Tennis, tennis. Outdoor sports, we have running, and last one, basketball, which is also fall under the two category, can be inside or outside. Now, we are coming to the second objective. We are going to write the names of the sports correctly. We have a list of 10, we have 10 words. You are with missing letters, you are going to write down the missing letters. We have basketball. You can work in two, two groups or two pairs, or you may work individually as you wish. Hussein, you'd like to do it individually or in pairs? You'd like to work individually? Okay, Hussein. Hussein, Abdullah, you are going to work individually, each one. Mohammed and Anas, you may work together in pairs. So, basketball, we have first one missing is E and L, basketball. Then we have boxing. Then we have cycling. The photo can help you. Cycling. Fugger. Figure skating, it's for girls. We have football. 
We have hooky. We have it skiing. We have speed. Speed means very quick or fast skating. Speed skating. And we have swimming and we have tennis. So last activity is for closure. We are going to do the verb that collocate with sports. We have go, we have go, we have do, and we have play. Again, you can do it either online or you have worksheet, as you wish. We can do it online. So, before you start, you have to read the rule. We have go. Go is activity that are sports that end with I-N-G. We have play with sports that needs a ball. And do with the different other sports. First one, we have football. For football, do we require a ball? Yes, we require a ball. So we are going to write football. Basketball, do we require a ball? We already have the word ball. So it's obvious that it falls under this category. Basketball. What about tennis? Tennis, do you need a ball? Yeah, we need a small ball. So I'm going to write it here. Let's go to verbs that goes with go. We said it ends with ing. All verbs that have ing, you just write them here. We have running. We have swimming. Swimming, horse riding, we have the ING, and so on. I hope that you like your lesson, and I hope you enjoy it too much. And if you have any questions, just feel free to send me a message or on my email. And thank, thank you, you for your attention. Goodbye. Good